Hello, I'm Philip Sales, the Justice of the Supreme Court. This short video is called Pro Bono Week. When I was at Bar School, I volunteered for the Free Representation Unit to act pro bono in small scale cases. It was a great way for a law student to get a taste of what advocacy would be like. I have a vivid memory of my first case. It was an unfair dismissal claim in the Employment Tribunal. My cross-examination was not the greatest demonstration of the art, and the killer question of the other side's witness was asked by a member of the tribunal. But we won, and I felt I had performed a valuable service. I continued to support FRU throughout my career as a barrister. As a judge, I want to express my sincere thanks on behalf of myself and on behalf of all my judicial colleagues at every level of the system to all of you who do pro bono work. I also want to encourage you to continue with this valuable work and to jump in and get involved if you haven't tried it yet. Going to law is a frightening and stressful experience for everyone, and especially for people who cannot afford to pay for legal assistance. They need help to present their cases. And judges need help too, to understand the facts and the arguments that people caught up in the legal system are trying to present. People do not appreciate what an important role lawyers play in getting to the bottom of a case in discussion with their client, before the case ever comes to court. Nor do people appreciate how lawyers digest and filter the stream of information from their client in order to fashion an effective legal argument which can be presented succinctly and efficiently in court. But I assure you that judges understand this very well. As a judge at first instance, hearing urgent applications in the Chancery Division, I benefited many times from the work done by pro bono lawyers who provided a service to help out unrepresented litigants. They did a fantastic job. Application days were very pressurised with many cases and not much time. If there were litigants in person, it could take the court a long time in debate with them to understand what their case was about and what they wanted the court to do. There was always a risk that you might not have understood fully in the time available before you had to give a short judgment. When lawyers helped out pro bono, Pro bono, however, you could be confident as a judge that the best possible explanation and submission was put forward. Everything could be done more efficiently in court, so you have more time to devote to the other cases in the list. I know from talking to my judicial colleagues how grateful we all felt to the pro bono lawyers who performed this service. It gave us a warm glow of goodwill towards them when they next appeared in our courts, and this did them no harm when they came before us representing paying clients. Regrettably, the need for pro bono lawyers is increasing. The withdrawal of legal aid in many areas has left more and more people exposed to the legal system on their own and needing help. If you are able to provide such help, even if only in occasional cases or from time to time, you will be doing a great thing. You will have provided a wonderful service to a fellow human being. For those early in practice, it's also a good way of getting real hands-on experience of legal cases and an opportunity to build your skills and reputation. In the Supreme Court, we often benefit from the work of lawyers acting pro bono in high profile cases, sometimes acting for the parties and sometimes representing interveners. We find this very valuable. Our thanks go to those who do this. I also want to thank the volunteer lawyers who give their time to assist with the Supreme Court debate days as part of the court's educational work. But I am very conscious that the greatest need for pro bono assistance is in first instance courts and tribunals up and down the country. That is where ordinary individuals come into contact with the law and need help. They need help to understand their rights and they need help to vindicate their rights against others who may be better equipped than them. I encourage you to become involved in pro bono work at every level. Pro bono legal work is a good way to gain experience and build your skills. It's a great way to support the rule of law in our country, and it is an invaluable way of giving back to your community and of helping individual fellow citizens. Thank you.